Hey there, I'm Todd. Welcome to Building Request Metrics. In this episode, we're going to take our .NET Core project and build it using TeamCity for continuous integration. The fuck is this? Okay, so that seems pretty good. Uh, and then if I go in here to Visual Studio, it did seem to figure that out. So let's hit F5 and see what, if any of those launch settings changed. Does not appear to have. Oh, so fresh and clean. Uh, okay, so uh, now we want to build this thing on our build server. So for those playing along at home, the build server is a Windows box and we want to deploy this to a Linux box. So the likelihood of this working well is small. For now, do you just want to make a request yeah. metrics? Yeah, for now, let's just make a request <laughs> metrics. I feel like that could be... Okay, so here we go. Here's, yep, this is going to be... Uh, and we'll just call this the umbrella for the request metrics. Build and build stuff. Uh, so this is man, should I... I'll just... I'll just do yeah. this. Is, yeah, this is manual because there's nothing directly in this thing, right? Okay, create a build configuration. Sure. Boom. From GitHub? Seems to make sense. We'll call this. Is that okay? Or no, he's the, yep. parent, he's the parent project. Sorry. Uh, his name is going to be request metrics server build. Okay. That seems fine. I think it matters. Should I do this GitHub thing? Should we try this? I don't think. Yeah, I let's see. Uh, connection type GitHub. Please register TeamCity on GitHub using the following parameters. Oh boy. It's mm, yeah. So we have to register set TeamCity. Oh. <laughs> oh. Just follow the directions. Uh, uh, do we want to do this? I think so. Application name. So he'd be Team City. Yep. Let's, like, yeah. Let, oh, yeah. This is oh, this is dastardly. Uh, okay. So homepage URL is this. The callback URL is this. Uh, oh, and then this would be a Team City build. Okay. Build configuration name, build. Okay. <laughs> Good. Descriptive. Auto detected build steps? Whoa. Um, Whoa. Team City leveling up their game. Whoa, do we even have that at CLI on Team City? I cannot believe this is gonna work. Uh, okay, so What's that's- the significance of the- Oh, you can, you can choose. So you can, do, oh. you can do the SLN or you can do the CLI, oh. I sort of think we should use the CLI. I agree. Otherwise, we have to install Visual Studio on. Mm -hmm. And I think you can install the CLI separately, actually. Yeah. Should we do these guys? I, I'm let's go I, check out those. Uh, yeah. Let's see what, what got <laughs> stuffed in there. OK, so it just says restore, and it does that. And so we'll eventually, so, so, I think, want to be. So they have a built-in .NET runner. Yeah. So they get nice. Look, look at all this stuff. OK, cool. Command line parms, which is good. I think this is how we're going to be able to do the publish stuff. Packages yep. directory. Okay, so this is cool. So this, so I'll hide these for now. Uh, so that was one step. That was the restore. I guess discard my changes. And then here's the build. Okay, so yeah, execute if all previous steps finished successfully. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Discard cool. my changes. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we've got the VCS root uh, maybe set up. Should we try running the build and see how bad it blows up? I mean, we haven't installed .NET Core right. on this box, have we? We haven't, so I'm very curious to see what happens. I assume it's going to error out instantly. All right, well, let's let's see what error message we get. Okay, let's do it. Actually, sorry, last thing, I just want to see the trigger, VCS trigger. Okay, whatever, run. Oh, interesting. No enable compatible agents for this build configuration. 
Ah, okay. Maybe that's how it knows about like <laughs> .NET is a thing, but you've never built an agent with .NET on it. Yeah. So go to the. Oh, but which which. Uh, well, the problem is, what pool is he He's, in? He doesn't have a pool, maybe. Maybe he should be in the build to play pool. Yeah. How do we get him in there? We can assign projects here. Yeah. Cannot be built on it. Okay, so let's, well, let's save it, and then it should tell us why. Request metrics is also in the default pool. Oh, is he? Well, not anymore. Oh, I guess not. Uh, let's remove him from the default pool. Okay. There we go. So now let's see. So this should, like, at some point, it usually gets mad and tells you. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Incompatible configurations. .NET CLI. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, All right. dude. That's super dope. Uh, okay, so let's go on to the build box here. Okay, so we should have Chrome in here. There he is. Uh, let's see, we probably want the build apps, I think. Yep. I think so, yeah. Uh, mm, That's probably fine. Oh no, oh, no don't do that. It's available. Rip it. Okay. So this is, if you plan to use it with 3.1, okay, that's fine. I'm pleased that it hasn't asked us to restart yet. Um, we probably will have to bounce that agent yep. because it updated the path. Uh, so maybe we want to do that guy. So uh, for those playing along at home, all of the agents have their own uh, process. I think we just need to bounce this guy, right? Because he's the build one, yep. as I recall. Let's give him a restart. Okay, so in theory, we close these incognito windows. Uh, so let's just see here. Agent so he's not back yet. He's not back yet. Okay. Now he's back. Now he's back. Oh, he's running the build. Oh. oh. Wow, it's magic. Oh. Look at the log. Look at the log. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, shit. <laughs> it worked. I mean, that's not the most verbose. Here we go. Oh, restore completed. Yeah. Step two. I don't well, really like the nesting as much. Zero warnings, zero errors. Well, maybe no. he does. Go to this direct, like if you copy that directory, let's go look at it on the build box since you're still connected to it and see what, yeah, what that little guy dumped out. What's going on for you? <laughs> So that, I mean, there's the source. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think it discarded all of. Well, let's see. Did it? Did it put it in here? Bin debug. How? Why did it really do it on debug and not release? We didn't tell it to. Oh, okay. I think. Although, did it actually build this thing? Yeah. I mean, here it is, right? Now we didn't do the self-contained or any of that stuff yet. Uh, yep. So that's cool. That is cool. That's I think that's needs to be our next step is we need to um, kind of either change the settings or change the build yeah. parameters so that we build the artifacts that we're expecting. I agree. So yeah. so we were yeah. so Jordan and I, Jordan had a great thing this morning in Slack where he posted like there's the self contained with single file. Mm -hmm. and so the, saw that. So the way he did that in Visual Studio uh, 2019 is with what was called a published profile. And so if we right click on this guy, uh, or was it this guy actually? No, that, you had it. Was it, was it this guy? I saw it, it's, a blue, it's got a blue glow. Yeah, okay, so, so what we can do, Todd, so, so one thought, and you tell me what you think of this. But what we can also do is we can actually save this publish as like an XML file, and we can just point to it from the build. And so I tested that from PowerShell earlier today, and it does work. Mm, uh, so the, so I, the idea was maybe we create one of these publish profiles called like production, and then we just point to that on the build server. So we, we pick like a publish target probably. Uh, mm -hmm. And so then there's a folder or file share. So we're gonna write everything, we're gonna dump it somewhere. So do we like this path? 
do we need the net core app three one garbage or could we just <laughs> dump it in publish? I don't know. I, you want to try and get rid of it? We put wherever we want, right? As long as it doesn't smash. Because I mean, it hasn't been released publish. That's like been a known I, thing I forever. Know, yeah, I think that's, that seems like enough. Okay, so we're gonna put in bin release publish. Uh, delete existing files. I think that should be maybe true. Yeah, let's go. I, I would say so. Because actually, I notice weird problems if you didn't do that. Yeah. So we're gonna do self-contained. We're gonna do Linux x64. Uh, we want to produce a single file. We're going to trim unused assemblies. We're going to delete all existing files prior to publish. What's that ready to run bit? I don't uh, know. I was scared of that. Let's, I didn't, let's, uh, I let's do a quick. It felt something that was too fancy. Okay. At some point, we might want to do that because it like thirds the size. Okay, and I want to edit the name of this guy. Yeah. Oh, no, can I no, not? No, there's a rename button specifically, so get out of there. Oh, oh I see. Yeah, this confused oh, me too. Oh. Yeah. Or just like production build, or what do you guys think? Production it's, sounds fine. That's, yeah. that's what we'd call it. Okay. So these guys live in this published profiles thing. Okay, cool. So, okay, look, so I think it's ignored, yeah. So we don't want that to be ignored, I don't think, because we want that to be committed so that we can... Yeah. Um, so can we look at the resulting file and see what's in it? Yes. So it's a bit of stuff. But it's pretty much what we did in the checkbox. But nothing that we right? wouldn't, that we'd want to ignore. Like nothing that was your machine specific no. or anything. Is it the, is it the pub It's pub XML. The comment, the next line, if you want to check in your web deploy settings. Yeah, that's right. We don't have database connection strings in it, ah, so that's not a problem. Look how fast that updated. Okay, so let's go to build steps and for the .NET build. So I played with this, with this earlier, actually. So I actually have uh, a little cheat sheet here. So when you run, uh, so you can run .NET publish with release and then a publish profile, and then this is the name of yep. the thing. So, so yeah. So first of all, somewhere in here is where you tell it. So he, I think the configuration is where you'd have release, right? Yes. Yep. Uh, and I think we need to change it from build to publish, right? Can you publish without building? Does publish imply I a rebuild? I believe that it does. Okay, so then the configuration is going to be released, but that should actually be in the profile, I think. Um, and so then for additional, so then, then slash p colon publish profile and then production, which is not a very elegant. Should we try that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what could go wrong? Well, what could go wrong? Yeah. Where's my build log? Oops. Mm, six second build. Don't get used to that. Okay, so did it publish? Did it blow up? No. That doesn't but it, look but like But it didn't do single... the right thing. No. Well, let's go see. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I will do that. This would be bin release. Uh, uh, no. There's a publish. What's in publish? Hmm. That's it. That's him. I mean, so it didn't. That's a that's a lot of directories more than I thought it was going to make. Well, because it did and this didn't one. Didn't it kind of? Yeah. Didn't you think it was going to be in just bin release publish? Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Well, maybe we just can't fight it. It really wants to do it in that directory. Maybe we just like I know. change our configuration <laughs> file to say, fine. It's just, fine. Oh, it just makes me so mad. Why do these guys, why do they gotta be such jerks? Um, so so I think that was good. Whoops, sorry. Let's save, let's save release. Let's just see, is there anything else in here? Oh, we've got this. Can we change output directory and just force it there? No, I wonder if it's adding more command line. Well. Uh, sure. Should we try that? 
We can we can try that. Sure. We'll or you can just put it in publish. It's not that's, even in source. That's better. It's just top level. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Why faff around? Okay. All right. Build log. Oh, oh, that's oh. optimistic. Oh man. That's we'll kind of what, what we wanted. So let's Ooh. see. Did he? All right. Okay. We're way up. Way up here. Dude. Whoa. That's totally what we That's wanted. pretty dope, actually. <laughs> That's pretty dope. So we probably need to store that as an artifact, though, right, for the deploy? Yep. We do. Is that probably uh, the next Probably the whole, just the whole published directory is an artifact. I think so. I think so. OK, so now we need to uh, take these build artifacts, the output of it, and we need to send it to a deployment job or, or you know, somehow package it so a deployment job can pick it up and push it to Linux. So in Team City, the way that we do that I think, isn't it like, can we do something like this? I don't even think you have to, I think you could just say publish and it will imply the target is the same name. Okay, cool. Let's, let's give it a run. Let's give it a run. You know what would be really smart actually is if in another window, yeah. I the actual running here, Ooh. that would be. Okay, it's done. And... Or if you put it in the root. Hmm. I suppose. So okay. So that's that's fine. So let's 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 try the arrows and that, see what happens then. Okay. So let's run it again. And then over here, we'll just go back. Publishing internal artifacts. Artifacts are in publish, and there Beautiful. are five. Things which I think meshes with what we saw here.